Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my controller settings and audio settings for the new update that just came out. Now, I have made a video about this in the past, but there are always constantly new subscribers. Subscribers to the channel, by the way, thank you so much for subscribing, I really appreciate it. With that said, people always leave comments saying like, hey Turbo, what's your sensitivity? What controller settings do you use? What are your audio settings, etc., etc." That's why I'm bringing this video for you today, just because I just wanna make another updated one, just to give people a chance to see what I'm personally using. If you've been curious, we're just gonna go through it really quick and we're going to start off with the controls right here we're at the look inversion this one's obviously going to be standard you know why would i want to put it inverted it just feels like everything's backwards when you're controlling it that way and it's just going to mess you up then we got the look sensitivity for horizontal is going to be a six and the vertical is going to be a six this is kind of the settings that i've been using for quite a while now before it used to be a five then i moved up to a seven and then i found that six was my perfect sensitivity if you guys have issues finding your perfect sensitivity i will leave a link down below in the description that will lead to so many aiming guides that will help you out tremendously instantly you know i have plenty of videos that i've covered for black ops 4 that you guys should definitely check out if you've been struggling with your aim or your sensitivity definitely check out the videos down below in the description for ads sensitivity this one's super important it's brand new added to black ops 4 or call of duty for a matter of fact it's how sensitive your right stick is going to be when you're actually aimed down sights so for me i found the perfect sensitivity to be a 0.75 again this will be included in the description how to find your perfect sensitivity then high zoom sensitivity it doesn't really matter unless you're using a sniper or something with a zoom scope just like it says right there in the description i just keep it at a one you know it doesn't really matter to me uh target assist is on this is super important obviously you want to be able to snap on your targets a lot easier this will help you with your accuracy aim assist I'm having this off it doesn't really matter because if you look at the description it says auto aim when aiming down the site this will not affect multiplayer i'm a multiplayer guy and i never really play blackout so i don't really need this on so i keep this off anyway uh, but if you're playing blackout you might want to put this on controller vibration is off this one's huge i feel like having it on and your controller is vibrating when you're either firing your weapon or you're getting shot at it's just a distraction man you know it, it, this allows you to focus on the task at hand just not being distracted by you know your controller vibrating you're just able to focus on gunfights and just put all your energy and focus into that that's why i keep controller vibration off and plus you save battery that way too then we got sprint cancels reload i have this off you know i like to just run and gun and every time i'm caught up in a situation i need to reload and probably get out of there at the same time so if i have sprint cancel reload on then that means that my gun is not going to reload itself when i'm trying to sprint out of a bad situation and i find that kills me so many times before in the past when i had it on so definitely turn that off i highly recommend it it will definitely save you a lot of deaths auto mantle i'm glad that they added this in the update i forgot which month it was but they finally added this into the game this one you definitely have to turn off man i hate it when i'm just you know backing up into something or moving towards like a head glitch and my dude just automatically mantles on top of it and it gets me killed that is just super annoying and something that can be avoided so definitely having that off is going to be very beneficial then we got auto sprint off for me personally i don't need it on because my controller works perfectly fine it says when enabled double clicking the sprint button will make you automatically begin sprinting maybe this is useful for people with broken controllers i personally know people in real life who've complained to me about broken controllers and this is the setting for you if you don't want to go out there and buy another controller all you got to do is just tap twice on your joystick and your dude will just automatically run around the map without having to constantly press on the thumbstick this is actually pretty good too if if you find you playing call of duty for hours and n and you find that your thumb is getting really sore you know have you ever played so long to the point where you've got the indent of the thumbstick on your thumb you know that's how you know you know you've been playing for so long and it can be painful and it can definitely affect your gameplay maybe you should experiment and turn it on but for me personally i turn it off because i don't really game all day anyway so it's not really practical for me to turn it on then we got my stick layout as default so uh nothing changes here i want everything default because this is just what i'm used to i've been playing call of duty for almost 10 years now and this is the setting that i've never ever changed so uh nothing really important to go over here button layout is stick in move so this is a game changer for call of duty nowadays you know it's all about movement nowadays it's all about strafing sliding and even uh just jumping around corners and stuff like that as far as movement goes that is super important uh so stick and move is my personal button layout of choice i use a normal ps4 controller so stick and move definitely helps me in that regard and save a bunch 
bunch of money and spending money on some scuff stuff uh, so this would be a good alternative for you to try out this is my personal setting that i'm comfortable with using you know some others out there might prefer bumper jumper tactical or bumper jumper uh, but for me i like stick and move i get to use my r3 button as my jump and then my melee is x so this setting right here is super important i have it flipped right here so i'm basically using l1 and r1 to ads and fire my weapon this will allow me to help control that recoil a lot better on my gun because there's a smaller surface area that you have to click on and it mimics smart triggers on scuffs or trigger stops i think that's what they call them and it definitely will help improve your aim overall if you're having struggles with just using the normal triggers so this is basically my controller settings again there will be links down below in the description for aiming if you need help on that now let's go over to audio so audio is definitely key in helping you stay alive and also uh, helping you get easier kills casual players they don't run dead silence so having good audio settings is going to give you an advantage you don't even need astro headsets to sound whore pretty well you know you could just use something like apple headphones or just any kind of headphone and then hook it up to the back of your monitor i hope you're using a monitor if you're a serious gamer you got to use a monitor when you're playing call of duty it definitely is going to make a big difference in your gameplay because when you're using a normal standard tv there's just going to be a lot of input lag from the tv to your ps4 and you're gonna find yourself feeling like you're behind all the time and you're lagging when really it's because you're using a TV so I highly suggest using a monitor somewhere between 21 to 25 inches is preferred so just hook up your normal headphones to the back of your monitor and you should be able to sound hoard just as well as somebody who has Astro headphones so I got master volume at 10 it adjusts the overall volume of the game I highly recommend putting it at a 10 maybe lower it if you're in a party chat so you can hear people if you're just playing casually now audio presets high boost is the setting I found to be the most helpful in hearing footsteps the most because the other settings they just don't do it i've also tested this myself and i've found that high boost you are able to hear footsteps a lot more crisp and clearer with this setting right here so definitely try high boost if you haven't tried it yet subtitles you know i feel there's no really need to go over this one it's just pretty self-explanatory voice volume this one adjusts the volume of the voices for in-game characters and announcers it does not affect the voice over microphone uh, so this one i keep at a 10. this one's a bit important important because it says it's the volume of the voice characters right sometimes when when you're playing in the game and there's a character who puts down an ammo crate like crash for example he'll say like something like you know sups ready to go you know you can hear that and if the enemy is using crash and they put down their ammo crates you will definitely hear the dude say uh all right supplements ready to go you know whatever he says and then it'll just point you in that direction where that came from and you know that there's an enemy there so that's just an example of why voice volume is super important okay music volume i have this turn all the way down i hate it when i'm on a high streak and the game is very close to ending and the do and the music just starts turning on you know it's just a big distraction so i have all my music volume turned away all the way down team chat voice volume i just have it at a 10 but even if i play solo i just mute people if they're too loud it's not really that important of a setting sound effects volume this adjusts the volume of the sound effects in the game so this one's also important as well so you can hear you know like i said earlier characters putting equipment down or hearing that seeker mind come from 10 yards away these things are very important just to give you that heads up put you a couple steps ahead of the enemy because you already hear where they're coming from you can hear their footsteps footsteps most importantly is included in sound effects this setting will definitely help you locate where the enemies are coming from of course this is also going to help you out if you're using the acoustic sensor acoustic sensor is definitely going to amplify everything in these settings and just expose more enemy sound in the game more than they already are i stopped using acoustic sensor for many months now and i could actually still sound horror pretty well with these settings so these settings do me pretty well all right so cinematics volume is going to be down to a zero because you know sometimes when your teammates they put something like a razor wire in the dude goes that or that because someone's die you know like, okay <laughs> I get it yeah my accent is really terrible but you know that's just an example right there you know you don't really need to hear about that stuff it could just be really distracting to especially if you're trying to hear footsteps because you know hearing footsteps is definitely going to aid in your survival and also get easy kills so we don't need to hear that so we're going to put this all the way down to a zero uh, multiplayer dialogue i'll just keep it on it's, it's it says if it's disabled it mutes dialogue spoken by multiplayer specialists does not affect call outs for gameplay so call outs is what you would want to do so let me reiterate uh the voice volume is more about call outs okay uh, cinematic volume is all about what i just said about you know like enemy seekers inbound you know what i mean like we don't need to know that kind of stuff you know we just want to focus 
on the important things like footsteps or uh, hearing call outs from teammates, you know, saying like enemy in the window or like, you know, get to the chopper, do it now, get to the chopper, come on. So that's just the difference that I wanted to uh, clarify between cinematics and voice volume. Controller sound, I have this off because that's just a personal preference. Number one, it'll kill your battery faster, just like with the vibration, if you have that on. And number two, it's just distracting as well. I mean, I personally, I record YouTube videos, so I don't need my controller making all these sounds and then the, the microphone picks up that sound and it just sounds terrible in post edit so uh, that's personally why i have the controller sound off all right so uh these are my settings for the new update leave a like if you did find this video helpful make sure to subscribe if you're new around here if you are watching this video and it ends up in your recommended feed and you're not subscribed please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button there's about 63 percent of you guys who do watch my videos that aren't subscribed you got to hit that subscribe button make sure it's grayed out turn on notifications as well so you never miss a another video especially with modern warfare coming through you don't want to miss out on the best tips and tricks and class setups all right so i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you have a good day peace if you're looking for a way to enhance your gaming experience check out focus by advanced it's a great supplement tastes really good no crash and it'll keep you focused give you faster reflexes and reaction time you could also use it for when you're at work studying for that test or even to get you focused for working out at the gym head on over to advanced.gg link is in the description and use my code turbo to save 10 percent if you use my code be sure to screen screenshot it and tweet it at me or tag me on Instagram. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member. And if you are interested in joining, there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you. Remember, this is not required by any means and I appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.